Welcome back. This is probably not exactly what you're expecting, but instead of looking at some kind of IoT crap, we're going to be looking at a tiny little steam engine kit that I built. Um, so this was bought off AliExpress and it's a really, really small steam engine. Um, it's got two pistons there. Um, it's got a little boiler. We have a little uh, metis burner here and we're going to set fire to that, we're going to make water boil in it and then hopefully it will spin round. So first things first, we're going to put meths into this little burner, so probably needs a fair bit of meths, so we're going to maybe put, I don't know, 15 odd mils into it. So all meths is, it, it, it's alcohol, you know, normal alcohol, the stuff we drink every day, every morning, every afternoon. Um, but it's got a flavour put in it that means that it's unpalatable. It's put a colour in it as well so that we know that it's got that flavour in it. And we shouldn't probably drink it, but you know, needs must. So we've got our little meths burner here and we're going to put a little wick in it. So this really isn't to burn, it's not like a candle wick, it's more to just kind of get that vapour up into the top of it. So I'm going to put that in there. So after we've done that, and get rid of the rest of this meths. I'm going to put some water into the boiler. So it's it's just a small metal container. I'm going to put some water in there. Oh, squirting everywhere. Anything could happen on this channel. Anything. It's like zombie come, but not quite as crazy. Let's put a good bit of water in there. So the thing is, you don't want to put too much water into it, because if you put loads of water in, it takes ages to boil, and then it takes a long time for it to turn into a steam engine, so you just end up with warm water. Right, I've probably got enough water in there. I'm just going to use a little bit of a dowel to block that up, so that, that little inlet there is blocked, and then we're going to light the burner. So I'm just going to come in at the side here, and it's lit. So now we have that flame burning at the bottom of it and it's going to take a few minutes for it to start boiling. So I'm going to shut up now and you can just wait and watch whilst I speed this up in some kind of editing software that I'm not decided on. Right so it's not boiling yet but let's go for a bit of a spin round on this. This is quite cool, it has a little dynamo and an LED that will be powered by it so when it does start spinning we should start seeing that LED light. But there's quite a lot of water in there, needs a fair bit of heat to heat up. Get to that boiling point we should start hearing it boiling shortly. Right it sounds like it's starting to boil now. I can hear that weird little noise change of pitch when it's starting to boil. A bit of water is condensing there. Oh. It's a little bit slow to start with. But there we go. It's going, it's going. This is pretty awesome. Like we've got this tiny little steam engine. A meth burner, a little boiler full of water, a pipe going across two pistons 90 degrees opposed well 128 degrees 120 degrees I don't know but you know look it, it's starting to actually turn it's like a tiny little generator and then the thing is we can turn it around and maybe now it might actually be a bit hard to see what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn the big light out let's turn the big light out and you can actually start seeing the LED flashing so the LED is being powered by this little boiler. That's pretty cool. I really quite like that. Look at that. How cool is that? So this was £18 or something off AliExpress, which I think is pretty cool. I quite like it. It's a good fun little toy. Uh, my son built one of these and it just took a little screwdriver. Not too much to it, but you can actually see how the whole thing works. I quite like it. 